Because of the virus, dentists and orthodontists are two types of businesses shut down except for emergencies. But what do you do if the bills for things like braces keep coming even if the office is closed? News Channel 5's Jason Lamb has one mid-state woman's story. She's not had any wires nor bands replaced since February. Shannon Heckler is like a lot of parents in the mid-state, with kids typically heading to the orthodontist office for things like braces and retainers. She is to wear a retainer at all times. Um, unfortunately, within 24 hours, she's nine. She lost the first retainer. We had to buy a second retainer. And 72 hours later, that one was missing. <laughs> a problem that could be solved with another trip to the orthodontist. But COVID-19 has shut down offices except for emergencies to help give medical responders more access to PPEs. Shannon worries about her kids' dental care falling behind. One set of braces per child is $5,000. You know, and that's a lot of money. And now you're looking at children that have been without retainers or proper brace to care. Even without visits to the dentist or orthodontist, parents may still be getting billed for the contracted cost of things like braces. That was Shannon Heckler's case until she called the office. If those payments are scheduled to come out, that could be possibly looking at putting somebody financially in debt with the banks, you know, not being able to pay, you know, a car note or something that they have an obligation to pay. She says it's important for parents to know they can likely call their orthodontist office if COVID-19 has impacted their ability to pay to work out different options to pay for things like braces until the COVID-19 pandemic gets straightened out. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.